Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Storytime with Ms. B. Today we have a nice story about discovering who you are, what you look like, how you feel about yourself. Now, as you know, not everybody looks the same or has the same skin color. Some may have blended tones and richness in their skin, and that's good. If we all were the same, imagine what that would be like like little robots but we're not we're all beautiful creations and in this story called mixed me by tay diggs illustrated by shane w evans we discover what that really means let's find out you ready here we go hey now they call me mixed up mike my hair is like wow super crazy fresh cool man yeah <laughs> I like to go fast. No one can stop me as the wind comes through my zigzag curly do. <laughs> What's happening, Captain? My daddy says. Hi, I say. Bye, I say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweet boy, sweet pie, honey boo. My mom coos. She's my one and only, never lonely. Hi, I say. Bye, I say. <laughs> Sometimes when we're together, people stare at whatever. Your mom and dad don't match, they say, and scratch their heads. See, my dad's a deep brown and my mom's rich cream and honey. Then people see me and they look at us funny. My mom and dad say, I'm a blend of dark and light. We mixed you perfectly and got you just right. Woo. Yeah. There are so many flavors to savor and taste. Why pick only one color or face? Why pick one race? Some kids at school want me to choose who I cruise with. I'm down for fun with everyone. Why pick one race? I'm a combo plate. Garden salad, rice and beans, mm, tasting great, but wait. And if they care too much about my hair too much, that it's not straight enough, I say, it's my hair. Don't touch. Don't touch. <laughs> I'm doing my thing, so don't forget it. If you don't get it, then you don't get it. Uh-huh, I said it. <laughs> I said it. I'm a beautiful blend of dark and light. I was mixed up perfectly, and I'm just right. Ha-ha. <laughs> 
They call me Mixed Up Mike, but that name should be fixed. I'm not mixed up. I just happen to be mixed. <laughs> Mixed me. Wow, wasn't that a cool story? I think that was a great story. Tay Diggs is an actor and he's he's done a lot of singing. He's done some Broadway shows and now he's an author. He wrote this book. It is so cool to see that even though our differences, we can still come together. You may play with friends that may not look like you, but you are still good friends. And don't let anybody try to change you. Just like in Mike, remember when they wanted to wanted him to try to straighten up his hair and, and, and cut it or not for it to be so curly and mixed up and everything? Let me just try it. I'm trying to find it here. But they wanted, they couldn't understand why he looks so different from his mom. Is that really your mom and dad? Some kids actually do that because they don't know. They're not really sure. Just because your dad and mom look different, that doesn't mean that something's wrong with you. See, look. He has this big, beautiful head of hair. But people wanted to, why don't you comb it, cut it, straighten it? That's his beautiful hair. He has a lot of hair. And that's part of who he is. Just like you are who you are. You are special. You are smart. You're good. Your hair may be straight or curly, but it's your hair and it's who you are. Just like Miss B's hair. See, look. <laughs> it's natural hair. It's a little curly, little fro. I don't have to straighten it because my other friends straighten their hair. It's my hair. And I like it. Mike liked his hair. You like your hair too. And the skin you're in. Busy bees. Okay. We got it. All right. <laughs> that was a good story. Learn to love yourself. And learn to respect other people's differences. And that way we learn more about each other. And come together. And live in a better world. Let's make this world a better place. Yes, we can. Yes, that's right. We can do it. Let's start with the busy bees, right? We're going to keep learning and reading and having fun and singing and laughing because this is important and education is important. Got it? Got it. All right. That's all the time we have today. I'm glad you spent a part of your day with me, part of your time with me. And Come back next time. We learn a lot of things on story time with this B, Miss B. We have a lot of fun. Tell your friends. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.